a split squad game a week from the night, the 20th. Half these teams will meet in Allentown, the other half at Barclays Center in Brooklyn. Here's a quick shot to go! Mark Freeman from the top of the right circle. Yeah, Barovia have set that up beautifully. Going behind the net, found the D-man pinching, and a nice shot and finish there by Friedman. Barovia with a great look, and Friedman, who has been kind of threatening all night from his defensive position, last one through a screen. He beats even McAdam. And it's a 3-1 Flyers lead with five minutes left to go in the second period. Yeah, Friedman got rid of the puck in a hurry, too, from the top of the circle. 61% of their offense trying to answer those here with a big third. Now even at one. Lewington runs into Simpson. Lost it. Barobiev's in. Down the right across. Obey Kubel. Through the legs of Milner and in. Through the five hole again. Nick Obey Kubel squeaks it in. And suddenly, just like that, the quick strike phantoms have made it two to one. Yeah, it seems like right in front of the Bears bench, uh, right by the, the, the center ice red line, uh, two of the players, I believe it's uh, Simpson and Lewington, collided with each other. They're both going for the puck, and they both fell. That gave uh, the Phantoms a two-on-one, and then the nice pass there. Um, I think I believe it was Vorobiev to Obi Kubel, and uh, he put it in, uh, stopped the puck for, for a quick second, and then quick release, went five-hole again. Miller got a piece of that, but not quite enough. Again, here come the fourth liners. Colin McDonald looking for somebody to, to ram into. Barobi a steal. Finds Colin McDonald. Scores. Colin McDonald snipes from the top of the right circle after Miguel Barobia picked it off in the Springfield zone. 3.27 to go in the first period. Welcome back, c -Mac. Colin McDonald has his first goal of the season in his first game back, and it's 2 to nothing. Phantoms. What a fine intercept by Vorobiev. And he quickly connected with Colin McDonald instead of shooting it himself. And he snipes from just about the turns. A similar start to what they got off to in the first in Allentown on Wednesday. McDonald taking a hit but making the play for Vorobiev left wing boards. Vorobiev off to Rodelfa's layup and back to Vorobiev. Vorobiev crisscrossing with his fellow Russian Fezlayev now at the line. O'Neal fires and scores through the traffic. McDonald and Brodor were still battling in front of Montembeau, and O'Neal fires it through all the bodies and in. Down there on the back check, Vorobiev, a shove on Bluger to pop it free, and the Phantoms away, three on three. Chris Connor, backhander, back door on the rush, Lindblom couldn't get a stick on it. Lindblom out in front, a goal for Robiev on the back door. Connor and a Lindblom to Vorobiev. And it's four to three Phantoms, and the first goal of the year and the first of the North American career for Misha Vorobiev. who barely speaks a word of English, but the guys in the room who have welcomed him with open arms. Brennan at Verona. Verona au cercle gauche, envoie derrière le filet, un tir bloqué par Foucarli, et la rondelle qui se retrouve derrière lui. Et les Phantoms qui créent l'égalité, Zach Foucarli va s'en vouloir, un tir qui semblait pourtant inoffensif du cercle droit. C'est un à un les Phantoms de retour dans le match. Ouais, L'action était derrière le filet de Zach Foucarli, et tout de suite une passe au cercle de mise en jeu droit. Et c'est Vorobiev, Miguel Vorobiev, qui va tirer sur réception. Et je m'excuse, Lindblom, Matt Reed behind the goal, 31-year-old veteran on the same line with Vorobiev, out and play, scores! Misha Vorobiev bends that through from between the circles on a fine assist by Matt Reed, and Vorobiev just bats it right past the white skate of Anthony Peters. 7.43 to go in the first, it's the third of the year for Vorobiev. Long, Langlois out to center, plays it across, looking for Travis Boyd, set back from him and Vorobiev rushing it in. Long, wrist shot, right shoulder save, and a check, rebound, they score. Vanacek left the rebound and punched in by Lindblom, and it is two to one as Lehigh Valley strikes early in the third. On the near side, Martel looking to clear, here come the Phantoms. With numbers, Bears trying to get back, Reed over the blue line, gets around Siegenthaler, cuts to the net, back door, they score, Vorobiev. 
Back and forth we go. The answer from the Phantoms, Vorobiev salutes as he scores at 15-12 to go on the third. Another trailer and his pass across was deflected and broken up. Max LaMarche was joining the rush, but Charlotte hustled back and stole. Clark Bishop tries to go a little inside out, but Vorobiev wise to it, an easy intercept. And then Wilcox was tripped up, exiting the zone, a penalty coming up. Here's Lindblom stealing out in front of Vorobiev. It was in his skates, rebound, score! Misha Vorobiev, second tries the charm. His fifth goal of the season buries it after the steal by Lindblom. 11-24 to go in the third. It's 4-1, Phantoms! Lindblom's pass to Vorobiev was kind of caught between his skates. He had to pull it out. He recovered. And after the first shot was kicked out by Olmark, Vorobiev, the 21-year-old rookie from Russia, tried it again and buried it. And Misha Vorobiev is finding his game again. He was figuring it out in big time before his injury, December 12th, crossed the slot, wanted somebody to have rotated in, nobody home. Brennan a shot, hit off of two Devils players, including Birchie and Kennedy over to the corner. Phantoms pull it away. Binghamton barely hanging on here in this nothing-nothing game. A shot, a tip, a score! Down low, it's tipped in by Phil Veroni on the shot from the left wing by Misha Vorobiev. Power play goal for the Phantoms with 14.08 to go in the second period. It's one to nothing Lehigh Valley on Phil Veroni's 18th goal and league leading 57th point of the year. It's the 13th assist for Misha Vorobiev. One zip, Lehigh Valley. It comes with about five seconds left on the power play. And they were looking for Pieto on the back door, but it was broken up by Max LaMarche and pushed out of the right point. Vlad is there to hold it in. Vorobiev jammed that out of there, finds Radel Fazlayev. He really had nowhere to go with it, so he pulls it back. Phantoms change. Now Fazlayev turns it back the other way, gains the line of the right wing. Touch back to Vorobiev, who scores! What a wonderful play by Radel Fazlayev, setting up the shot. Snap through from center point for Misha Vorobiev. It's the Russian connection for the Lehigh Valley Phantoms. Vorobiev scores with 4.04 to go in the third. Glove side on Mackenzie Blackwood. Gets the puck ahead. There's the long shot. Vorobiev stick this side by Copley. And Vorobiev with it again. Oof, a Russian native to the blue line. Myers once more. Wrist shot coming. Blocked in front of Copley. Bartro digs it out of the pile. of Vorobiev once more. Phantoms having the offensive zone. Myers side steps. Walker steps a wrist shot. Friendly fire. And his own teammate standing in front was Vecchioni. Lehigh Valley still left it. The puck glued to their tape. A flat shot for the point. Bounces wide. The goal centered. Vorobiev shoots and scores. Yeah, it was only a matter of time. Can't clear the puck. He can't give this Lehigh Valley team that much time in the offensive zone before they capitalize. Misha Vorobiev from the top hash mark. Rips it up and over the blocker of Phoenix Copley. The game is tied at two with 6.04. Clamp to the second period of play. He made no mistake, and that thing was wired to the top corner, in and out of the net at a blink of an eye. He's got his seventh goal of the season. The six foot two forward put everything, all 206 pounds behind that shot. As Copley came out of his goal, the defenseman went down. News. Bottom around five. Vorobiev now to shoot for the Phantoms. Has a goal tonight. On that quick twist and wrister, up over the glove of Copley. He'll pick up the puck, skates it slowly. Copley way out to challenge to win the game. He scores. Vorobiev beats Copley low, and that's a shame because Phoenix played so well. Yeah. But the Phantoms win their sixth straight versus the Bears. Fans it the other way. Crucial Niski over the line, threw it to the slot. A big traffic jam there. Vorobiev to the back post. They score. The Phantoms lead at 1-0 with eight minutes, a little bit less than that to play in the first. The Sound Tigers are down to 1-0 as striking first in tonight's contest, Tonique Martel. Crucial Niski threw it to the slot, a traffic jam there. The puck squirted free out to the left circle. Racing onto it, Mikhail Vorobiev threw it to the back post and Martel was there to nudge it across the goal line and Kudlevskis is beaten by Seth Helgeson. And the second power play for the Phantoms is underway. 1-1 the score. And the 
the Sound Tigers looking to take the lead for the first time, but right now just trying to keep the Phantoms off the board. They can't do it as Greg Carey scores on the power play, received the puck in the bottom of the right hash marks and floated a forehand shot past the outstretched blocker of Christos Goodlevskis, and it's a 2-1 Phantoms lead with a power play goal. Shortly after that last faceoff, Mikhail Vorobiev set it up from the right point, sliding one to Carey at the right hash marks, and Carey on the forehand, guided to one. Step. Now a little give and go, and we're running up the right wing with LaMarche from Obey Cubell, and then around the boards, and kind of threw Chris Connor, who really couldn't do much with that. And all the way back to the Lehigh Valley Phantom side. Phantoms with a possession now, a little tap for Vorobiev. He's in, nice give across, Wilcox in, jam, score! Vorobiev on the rebound! It's a go-ahead goal, 11.58 left in the third, as he tapped it into Reese Wilcox, jumped off the pads of Black, and Misha Vorobiev right there to fire home the rebound. The Phantoms lead 3-2. to two. It's eight points in the last six games for Misha Vorobiev, who is playing better and better. Nice save by Eddie Lack off of the right pad tonight. Reese Wilcox rushing right in there on the tap over from Vorobiev. And here a guy that Scott Gordon says maybe is the best playmaker on the team. Well, here he scores a goal for himself. Three goals. The season, those get dialed down, and in today's era of hockey as well, just not as common. Springfield in and gone right through the blue, and there was the moose deflecting it away. Had to think fast. Shots are a whopping 14 to 14. Lead pass to the right wing. Martell is in, he scores! Tommy Martell snipes from the top of the right circle. 22nd goal of the season. He goes top shelf on Harry Sateri. And Letary wins it to Bigra in the corner. Now Crawley has trouble that he's intercepted by Barobia. He fires and scores! Mazenitz gets a piece of that one, but he can't keep it out of the net. It was Crowley that time with a defensive zone giveaway, and Lehigh Valley draws first blood. Uh, Crowley tried to fire that puck up the middle of the ice, and nothing good ever comes out of when you do that. And uh, Vorobiev read that one, picked it off, and snapped a quick shot. Mazenitz was never set for that. He expected that puck to get out. And Better in Chris Porter for slashing. 3.48 to go in the first. Phantoms 2, Bruins 1. Shots are 18 to 8 for Lehigh Valley here in the last away game of the season. And then after this, two home games next weekend, Friday and Saturday. Lehigh Valley walks in Vorobiev to the left wall and drops for Phil Veroni there. In behind the goal in the corner. And Zabor will kind of cross-check Vorobiev. Bumped him off the puck. But T.J. Brennan holds the clearing drive. Shoots and scores! T.J. Brennan from outside the top of the left wing. Fires that through. McIntyre with the games and then return to the lineup. Three to one Phantoms, two minutes to go on the first. The I Valley. Barobiev steals out in front. McDonald, he scores. Barobiev rushed to the right wing corner and stole the puck away from the Providence D and found a wide open Colin McDonald out in. Uh, tricked up is German. Out front, the giveaway. Kicked away, scores. Barobiev misplayed by the Marlies and in the back of the net by the Phantoms. Well, the Lehigh Valley Phantoms, very opportunistic, and a big goal by Mikhail Vorobiev. It gives the Lehigh Valley Phantoms a 2-1 advantage here in Toronto, and it starts, though, where the puck free in the corner, and it's just thrown out from down below the goal line and sparks as the puck is going to come to the front of the net. It's a back can play I believe by Hall and it goes towards the goal Sparks gets his stick on it to prevent to come right out in front of him but he's got Brooks Whitten can't get it across the blue line Martell in transition turns it back the other way feeds it over and Barovia was looking for his second battle out front Obi Kubel jumps Vincent Loverde as Brooks moves it along Marchman didn't quite get to it a couple of sticks off of it and right there is Garrett Sparks to gather it in Another turnover by the Marlies almost costs them again.